Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm alive. It's been a time. If you guys um, didn't see, we got influenza A. Now Miss Willow has it. So I got it from Harper and then my influenza A turned into pneumonia. So I ended up in hospital, which was not a very good time. I'm just really keen to get better. I'm taking it slow because you guys know what I'm like. I'm terrible, but I'm feeling pasty. I'm feeling greasy. I'm feeling like I need a bit of a little bit of a glow up to be honest. So I thought for this vlog, I want to take you along for the next couple days while I kind of pamper myself a little bit because I need it. It's been like two and a half weeks. I've been bed bound. And for me, when I get sick guys, like I never ever stay in bed. I will get up. Like COVID was a walk in the park compared to this. I, luckily I was only in hospital for like, I think 10 hours and I saw some stuff. The things I saw, and I'm such an empath, so in hospital, within that 10 hours, I saw a man that was, you know, off his face on drugs, obviously battling his own demons. And I just always think like, how did they get there? And it's just so sad. I'm such a deep thinker. And he was literally going, I think it was like five or six hours and he was just like, he had his shirt off, he was throwing the bins around. And it just like, I felt so like, I think deeply basically is what I'm trying to say. And then there was one moment, there was a teenage boy who was walking with his mum in like the waiting area. And then he just hit the deck so hard. The sound that his head made on the hard floor was sickening and he had the biggest seizure. And I was like yelling out to the nurse and I was like, I wasn't making the scene or anything, but I was like crying. Cause then I was like, I had seen his mum so upset and I'm trying to like, it was just a time. And then like the poor kid, like he finally came to and he was sick and I was like, oh my God, like, Honestly, my hat goes off to nurses and doctors. There was a man that came in with his wife who he had a heart attack. And then there was this young girl, which was so sad. She, she was probably like, she would have been a teenager and she'd taken, um, this is trigger warning, by the way, sorry, trigger warning. She'd taken like 20 tablets, like Panadol or something. You know, she was behind the curtain and I was just getting my IV drip. Like I wasn't being nosy, but you can hear everything. You know, the doctors were asking her about like why she did it and things like that. And it just broke my heart she's so young. I've had my own mental health battles as long as I can remember. I'm no stranger to that, you know, that darkness. But when you just see every single person walks through that door and they've all got their own things going on. Not being selfish or being self-centered, you do tend to just kind of let your own shit consume you. So it was a massive like, for me, I honestly do feel like, as you guys know, I felt like I had to get this sick because I've never been this sick in my life. I feel like I had to, to be like, no. My gut was telling me to slow down. My brain was telling me to slow down. I still wasn't. And yes, granted I've, I've, you know, a lot of pressure and stuff and things I need to do, but just like I preach to you guys, the actual act of being able to switch off because when you get this sick, I tell you what, it's been hard. I've got staff, I've still got a business to run. I've been working in bed in my laptop, holding in vomit, TMI. But you know what I mean? And I'm just like, it's time to go back to basics. It's time I finally been like, you know what? My business at the moment, this is what it is. It's hectic, but I can't keep going like this. So that's what is a little wake up call for me. So we're gonna do a bit of a glow up together. Now, when I say glow up, I'm not saying you have to go out and do all these things. This is just because I want to feel girly and have fun. If you're someone who doesn't like to fake tan, get your nails done, whatever, that's fine. I'm just doing this because I want to, and I haven't done it for a long time. Anyways, I've missed you. Love you. I'm glad to be back. Here's my manky tanning container. I usually use Loving Tan or the Lust Tan, but I'm all out of Lust, so I'm gonna be using that. And I use a glove, and you must use a little brush. You need this, and I'll show you why. First up, moisturizing my elbows, wrists, knees feet and ankles. And I usually just moisturize like my hands in general, like the whole hand pretty much. So you don't want no orange fingers. Not into that life. I can do my own back, but sometimes I feel like I'm going to break myself. Look how pale I am. I literally will never tan guys. Cause dad used to get melanomas cut out all the time. It's a whole, it's a whole show for everybody. Oh. It's probably the most awkward YouTube video I've ever done. Isn't this the kind of content you put out there? <laughs> no, no, definitely oh. not. And then I put my Kmart pajamas on. These pajamas are the best for tanning because I hate having like hot long sleeves and stuff. And it's like this really, it kind of feels like bamboo, but it's like, I think it was like 20, $30, I think 20 bucks from Kmart. And it's, you can get like dark colors too. So now as you can see, I've done everything except my face and my hands, you can see, and my feet. So what I do now is I get I get this brush and I put a little bit on it. And I've got a little bit on there and then I just like work my way down onto the hand like that. And because I've moisturized too, it's not gonna like stick too much. 
and I'll put some more on. Oh my God, she's a bit dirty. You wanna make sure you get the sides too. And then when I get to the hand, I literally go in between each finger. And it is a little bit lighter than like my arms, but your tan, sorry, your hands will like grab onto tan like nothing. And then I do the same with my face and my feet. Morning guys, it is now Monday. My tan's done. I'm feeling so much more human. Like, I can't tell you how much better I feel. Anyway, poor Willow has now tested positive for influenza A. So Ryan and I are going to be tag teaming. I have to record some podcasts. Um, and to continue on from my glow up, I'm getting my lashes done today. So I'm getting a lash tint and lift, which I haven't had done in years, like so long. But I'm really excited to do it. My friend Liv actually owns the place I'm going to. So I want to try, smash out some podcasts, go to the warehouse. I've got a meeting to do for planners. We're finishing up the teacher planner for next year. I just have to accept that this is the way it is at the moment. And... It is a lot, but I have to proactively decide that I need to take this time for myself. And this is something I preach all the time. And I think sometimes I tend to be like, oh yeah, but Steph, you've got extra businesses and things that you know other people don't have at the end of the day, though everyone's busy. Everyone's busy. And being so sick, I've never been that sick in my life. And I honestly feel like the universe was like, we need to shut this girl down for a while because she needs to chill. Lashes today, and then I need to get my nails done at some point because one has broken. I finally decided to stop getting like, the fake nails. So this is my nails with an SNS on it. If you get like shellac in that, or if you use nail polish, make sure you use, oh, what's it called? It's OBI, oh, OPI's Bubble Bath. That is my favorite nail polish. It is the best. Talking about tan, um, this is the stuff I use, honestly, to make my tan last long. But even this stuff will enable me not to even have to wear tan. I'll show you, it's so good. I'm actually friends with Stacey who owns Lost Minerals, but she doesn't pay me to say this stuff, like genuinely, like as you guys know, I am just really freaking honest. This is their gradual tanner and dead set. I've never been able to get a gradual tanner that is dark as this. It is next level and it is amazing. When I use it daily, I honestly don't have to tan and feel like every, maybe like every three weeks. Or if you just use that, you can just upkeep it like that. It is so good. Anyway, I really need to get going. All right, so I just did some meetings at the warehouse and now I'm heading off to get my lash lift and tint. I'm so excited. I know they do this thing where they like get this little, I know, they put this thing on it and then they like slick your lashes back and it feels really weird. Anyway, let's go get it done. It is now Friday. I've spent the whole week pretty much just working, but today I feel well enough to go back to the gym. So this is part of my little glow up from everything. I wanted to make sure I was well enough. So I'm gonna go to the gym. I am also gonna like, when I come back, I'm gonna work on like a new workout routine. As you guys know, I'm a PT um, or qualified PT. I'm not an actual PT now. I'm probably gonna do legs, which is gonna be painful because I literally have not worked out in three weeks. So wish me luck. Side note, doing your makeup on the floor is so therapeutic. There is nothing that beats the feeling of doing your makeup on the floor. <laughs> I have to say guys, I'm loving the lash lift and tint. It really does make a difference. I do still put on a little bit of mascara, but I don't have to like curl my lashes or anything anymore. And I only put like a tiny bit of mascara on now. Today, I'm going to finally wash my hair and do my blow dry. I feel like so fresh. I'm just excited to feel human again. Best makeup hack is using just like a blush brush, blush brush and chucking some bronzer on your eyelids. Cause then it's like, like blended because it's like the bigger the brush the more diffused the product um and then i grab a smaller fluffy brush like this with the bronzer and then just bring it under my eye and it just gives you that like really natural eyeshadow look but without the effort i don't know if you guys can see i should probably do like a proper makeup video let me know if you guys want me to do a makeup video another fun fact you guys know i'm a makeup artist well i used to be i do miss doing makeup though i really liked like the look on you, like the bride's face when you finish like and they just feel like really confident we only like pop on the tiniest bit on my lashes i don't even need to put mascara on now like i'm obsessed you probably can't even see but yes it does it definitely does make a difference let's go to the gym i most definitely do not post consistently maybe once a week so what then chantal well let's get a different that was weird oh,
My legs are absolutely wrecked. They're shaking already. Rip me tomorrow. Take a shower, wash my hair. I ended up being a bit naughty and I ended up buying the Durf Avenue pajamas. They're a little bit ex expensive, but I tell you what, they're amazing. Like I actually get it. I get it. And now I want all of them. I wouldn't wear them in like winter, like if it was actually cold. It's like, this material is just incredible. Anyway, now we're gonna prep the hair to do the Dyson. So what I do is I let it dry a little bit and then I put some mousse in it because it's not gonna last without mousse. This is the Wow Extra Large Bomb Shell Volumizer. Volumizer. So I do like a couple of pumps. I should probably shake it actually. And then I pop that in. And you put it like from root to tip apparently. But the mousse is definitely what makes the Dyson Air Wrap last. And I also have extensions, which makes it easier again. I usually will use a detangler, but it's downstairs because the kids stole it. I'm gonna pop on my LED mask while I let my hair dry a little bit before I start blow drying. I will admit, like it is a little bit of effort, but it's worth it. It's better than like doing your hair every single day. And then like each day I'll just like do a little touch up. If you guys haven't seen, I've got the, the old Dyson, which you have to change. And has like a little roll for different directions. So this one goes that way. So that will go on this side and then the other one goes on the other side. And I've found since I've started using the Dyson and not use my hair straight now, my hair doesn't break as much, which is the best because I'm trying to make it grow. Long story short, basically I had hair as thick and as long as this. And then when I was 19 years old, I went to a really dodgy hairdresser and they bleached my hair blonde and it like literally just fell out in clumps. And they gave me a chemical haircut and it was just never the same. I think it's like up to here naturally. This is the Dennis, Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask. The red light is for anti-aging and then the blue and red, I think is for, then there's like a blue light for pimples and then there's one that's for both. But I do, like honestly, it does make a difference. I, I'm obsessed. I love this thing. That's why I look like Iron Woman. All right, when my hair's like 80% dry, then I will start to do the air wrap parts where I like curl my hair. The only thing that moves is like, I hate how tacky your hair gets. This one's like the best one I've found so far, the color wow. But the other one I had, it used to make my hair really knotty. But I find with the hair oil, that's the trick. You need like hair oil with it. Otherwise it gets really grippy. Now just hold each one for like 30 seconds. Bit less maybe, depends how wet the hair is. Now, usually I'll just let it drop, but you can blast it with your cold air, but I'm lazy. But I did see on TikTok, what you should do is like clip the actual curl to let it cool down. And apparently it holds heaps better. Reminds me of my nan. She used to always have like the Velcro hair rollers in. She's so cute. She was so cute. I leave this like front bit with this whole front section for last and I put them together to make a little flicky thing. I'm very technical. <laughs> Alright, so front bit, we're gonna put them together and then they're gonna go like curl backwards. And I do that every day. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness, that was hilarious. Um, I actually got side bangs cut. What, curtain bangs? Curtain bangs cut again? Okay, that looks ridiculous right now. Like, I literally look like Sideshow Bob. Remember from The Simpsons? That's, I speak English, Stephanie. I look like Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons. Simpsons, wow. Okay. Look at that. Oh my god. Alright, so let's take we'll take this side out first. So just look at that. Perfection. Obviously it looks like Goldilocks now, but you want them to be tighter. So then they last. So that took me in general, because it looked like a lot of effort, but it actually only took me 15 minutes, max 20. And again, I don't have to do the clip bit. I can just like just do it. But the clips do make it last longer. So yeah, you can kind of see the vibe. I just like how it just gives it so much volume. Like honestly, GHD does not do this. And I just won't brush this for like a while. So this is how you literally want it to look. I look absolutely ridiculous, but in a few hours when I brush it, it'll look like the perfect blow dry. I only wash my hair twice a week and I'll do this like full twice a week. And then in between days, I'll just do like little touch ups. 
with the Tyson. I will link these clips for you guys below. Um, I just got these from Amazon and they were super cheap and there was like heaps of them. It's been a few hours and it's really messy now, but and I usually only like to do this with a wide tooth comb, but I don't know where I put it. So I'm just gonna use a normal brush. But I do like, do prefer to use a wide tooth comb for this. So you can see, it just like, just goes like so perfect. Like what the hell? I could not do this with the GHD ever. I highly recommend. Actually the Dyson is just chef's kiss. All right, so it is Sunday and Miss Harper and I are having a bit of a mummy daughter day, aren't we darling? And we, every time we do mummy daughter day, I do these cards for her. So on the cards, I put like two different options. So we'll say like bookstore or nails, and then we'll say uh, inside Kmart playground or outside playground. Kmart, Kmart Target. Target. And then like sushi and maccas and things like that. And then she doesn't know and she'll like choose one. And we're gonna get nails done. So obviously it's part of my vlog because my little glow up. I'm feeling much, much better, mm, which okay. is great. So yeah, and I also, last night we actually went out for dinner with friends, which was really nice because I literally never do anything social. And it just like really filled up my cup and it's kind of part of what I'm wanting to do now with this like like refocusing on myself you know and today we're actually we're going to the movies later today and we're seeing my best friend Ash and her kitties are coming too so look at me I'm a social butterfly basically Yay. so um, I actually stopped getting fake nails I get I got SNS last time since my natural nails because I was getting so sick of it so I I, I want to go to like build a gel I think eventually but yeah, I'm gonna get SNS Pro today and just get like the natural color. What did you have last time? Um, what is it? It's kind of oh, blue. I blue and purple. Yep. Ready? Quick. Um, I think I might get like a light orange and a light yellow. Oh, that's nice. Like a sunset. I really want like a picture on my nose. Oh, that's like, expensive. Like that girl pants. Yeah, yeah that's, that's expensive. I know. I didn't get my nails done professionally until I was 16. Yeah, she just like got hers when she was like four. <laughs> Hello guys, so I feel like this vlog's been a little bit all over the place, but I've just literally, it is now, it's 4 p.m. and I've literally just worked from home all day in my pajamas, but it's been really good because I've just been really working on like a new weekly schedule. Oh, I thought I had that in there. A new weekly schedule so I can have more balance because that's what this vlog is all about as well as like getting glowing up obviously like physically but also like mentally emotionally even with my time and things like that so I've written out a new workout plan which I put in my planner so I want to focus going on the gym four days a week to start with and then go back up to five so before I was going six as I said but you know life gets busy um so that's the goal first because the biggest thing is that with like you don't want to put the pressure on yourself too hard straight away and i know four is definitely achievable for me let like, me you know if you want me to do like a workout focus vlog like i can pro i could probably just like film my workouts for a whole week i'll just have to go to the gym when it's really quiet because i literally get like so anxious i hate being caught like excess like filming myself at the gym i feel like a dick some of my focuses for the next like a few weeks is things like taking my supplements again, um, having a really hard cutoff time with work, journaling at night again. So I journal in the morning, which literally is a game changer. I can't even tell you how important journaling is. But journaling at night, because I do feel like when I have big days, you know, like when you're up at night and you're like laying in bed and you're just like thinking, that's when you need to journal because that's, you need to get that shit out. You need to get it out. So that's really important. And a big one for me is getting back into something again like that's a hobby that's not related to work and i'm going to be creating a challenge that is free for everyone i'm not going to say what it's called yet but it's going to be 14 days so so two weeks and it's going to be a challenge that we're all going to do together which i think will be really really fun so i'll make sure i post a vlog before it starts on here and we can all do it together and it's like because you know you see you see the 75 hard and all that shit and it's just like so intense but i really want it to be really wholesome just to like reset ourselves in terms of like having things that we look forward to do each day. You know, usually we have like a whole, if you book a holiday, you know, that joy you feel and it gives you more motivation in all areas of, of your life. It could be work, it could be at home and that's because you've got something to look forward to. So imagine if we, we could recreate that every single day. And I think that's what life is all about, really. I was going to do a house glow up in part of this vlog, but I feel like I'm going to do that in a whole separate vlog now. <laughs> so we'll do a bit of a cleaning day together. How does that sound? We'll do like a house 
house glow up cleaning vlog. Um, but anyways, I love you guys and I will see you next week. Bye.